Welcome to this video on signing in to Library Search. We'll be looking at the benefits of signing in to Library Search. Using the sign in option enables Library Search to recognise who you are and gives you more search options and allows you to save search queries and add items you found to your favourites. So let's get started and show you how it works. So to sign in, um, there's a sign in option up here on the right hand side. And um, if you select staff and student login, you'll be able to log in using your network uh, username or password. And you can see it's now sign me in. So let's try a search and see what benefits that brings. OK, so I've done a search for artificial intelligence and um, it's brought me some results. And you can see here that I now have the save search option. So if I want to save that search for future reference to check um, to check results in future, I can do. And also I get the option to turn on notifications for that query. And then you can see that I'll get email notifications if there's an update. So I'll save that <clears throat> and say I wanted to adapt that search and also search for um, artificial intelligence and art. Um, I could then save that search as well and um, turn on notifications for that. And also notice if you've signed in, you've got this personalize option here where <clears throat> you can choose which disciplines you're mainly interested in. So um, often you'll, you'll want um, a multitude of disciplines. So you may not want to use this, but if you're specifically looking for things in computer science, you might want to select computer science if you're a computing student. If you're mainly looking for things in the arts field, you may want to select arts and humanities. And again, you can choose up to five. Um, so um, you can make your own mind up on that. And then if we save changes, uh, you have that applied. And then if we do a new search on something um, different, um, you can see that's still on. So, um, You might want to turn that off again if you're searching for something completely different. And you can see that if I sign out and if I sign back in again, it's still personalizing my searches because it's remembered. So we'll turn that off. And the other benefit um, to being signed in is that you can save things to your favorites. So if you thought, oh, that one. So if you thought that book looks really useful and you want to keep a record of it, you can add that item to your favorites. Off it goes. And then let's select a couple of other things. <clears throat> And then if you go to your favorites, you can see it saved those books for me so I can come back to them later. And you can also check that those um, save searches are there as well. And if you want to get rid of them at any stage, you can just remove that search. You can change your uh, alerts. Um, there's some really useful features available from signing in, but one of the key things is actually that you're able to um, access your library account. If you had loans, you can see them here as well as requests and messages and things. So that's your digital library card. So do give it a try, sign in and explore some of that um, functionality.